great welcome back to the channel and this time yet again we have something special for you tonight and is this the night the solitaire zombie attack board game heavily influenced by the living night of the living dead the iconic horror of the 80s or 90s or even 70s <laughs> i can't remember i remember as a as a kid i think i was 10 or 11 I watched it on the VHS, uh, I borrowed it from a friend of mine and I was really, honestly, I was terrified to watch it. I think after 10 or 15 minutes, as soon as the very first zombies um, <laughs> showed up in the movie, I ran away from away from TV and I switched it off and it was such an experience for me back then. Absolutely fantastic. Until this day, I treasured this moment, this experience. So anyways, as soon as I saw it, I can't remember when I saw it. I think I saw it on, on one of the uh, solo board games um, uh, Facebook pages or maybe Dungeon Dive uh, showcased it. Somebody did anyways, and I was influenced by that. So I went straight to White Dog Games website. And I purchased the PNP version. Unfortunately, they do not ship outside of the US due to uh, transport fees and customs, which can get ridiculous these days, especially when you import things to Europe from States. The customs fees and transport fees are absolutely outrageous. There is no reason for them to be that high especially for things so light and so small as these board games. But anyways, that's what it is. We're not going to talk about, you know, economics or politics on my channel because I don't want to spoil that. Let's go back to um, to the game. I actually played it um, three or four times now, uh, trying to learn the game. So today you won't see the playthrough. I'll just talk you through what the game is all about and I'll showcase my latest and the best result so far, this is the very first time I actually survived the night until dawn. I'll tell you all about it in just a moment. So anyways, this is The Night, the solitaire zombie attack board game. And it's uh, kept in this nice black and white atmospheric convention. It's not the fact that I printed it in black and white. The game is published black and white. And to be honest, uh, it, it fits the atmosphere perfectly so white game white dog games well done for for sticking to um to black and white convention absolutely fantastic and it just you know it's so climatic and it's so so nice to um <clears throat> to see it like that okay so once again white dog games definitely go and check them out so what is um the night all about the night consists of 16 turns uh, let me zoom to the board actually, like that. Should be able to let me just fix the camera. Uh, excuse the bumpiness for just a moment. I just want to showcase. There you go. There you go. Should be should be alright now. There we are. <clears throat> so the game consists of 16 turns, uh, during which Zombies spawn and activate, they can reanimate your fallen uh, comrade, fallen friends, and then um, there is a phase in which you move and attack and, and do other, other, other actions. For example, um, you can board up the windows or doors, you can lock the doors if you find the keys. So the game starts with setup phase in which you spawn your seven, um, seven people, seven humans, and you roll d6 for each of them and you spawn them in different locations around the map. I'll show you uh, I'll show you exactly how the game plays in the next episode when we uh, when I learn more about the rules and, and, and we play the game and, and you'll see what it's all about. So <clears throat> then you spawn the items. You have the firearms, you have the um, where are you guys? Where are you? Where did I put you? So, for example, you have boards. You can pick these up from the tool shed or from the other, from, from the uh, basement, the attic, and then use these to board the windows or doors to stop or delay zombies from flooding in. 
You can also find a machete, you can find a hatchet, a colt, for example, a shotgun, and you know, other items are also, ah, oh, there it is, <laughs> sorry for that, chainsaw. I wish I had find, found that in uh, in my playthrough first. It's still ahead of me, I still haven't found the chainsaw. Uh, the tire iron, Winchester, knife, wrench, baseball bat, and a sword, and all sorts of other things useful uh, in getting rid of zombies. In order for you, for us to use the um, firearms, you need to find ammo. You can't use... Hang on, let me take a sip of my tea. Oh, very nice. In order for us to um, use firearms, we have to find ammo, right? And ammo can be placed randomly all over the place, all over the mansion. Also outside in the shed too, uh, all sorts of different locations. Uh, you have some um, tables from on which you roll a d6 and then you spawn your items. As well as zombies, you have some locations in which zombies can spawn around the map. Like this one, that one, that one, yeah? And then they move in. So it, all the zombies, they have their statistics, the attack, the action points, they can go through windows, they can break the barricades, I mean the boards, they can uh, break down the locked doors. Um, the purpose of the game is to survive 16 turns. Um, as soon as the, uh, the turn tracker reaches 16, the dawn breaks and you win the game. And then you count your points. And there is a huge list of, uh, you know, achievements um, <clears throat> for every hero that survives the night. You get some points. Oh, and I forgot to mention that at the beginning of every game, you pick up the, you select one of the he one of the humans to be a hero for the run through. So actually, what what you're looking at is the outcome of my best playthrough so far. This is the only play playthrough uh, during which I managed to survive. Only Ben and Helen survived. Karen died here. Tom died and was resurrected. <laughs> reanimated, I mean. Reanimated. Karen here also was reanimated. Harry died next to Karen. He was trying, actually, he, he rushed in with a sledgehammer to kill the incoming zombies. These, these zombies were coming through the window. He managed to kill one of them, if I remember correctly, but then he got overwhelmed with the other zombies and he just died. He couldn't protect himself or Karen, so they both died. Karen, whoops, Karen was reanimated. Harry was not. Okay, um, we also lost Barbara, who died and was reanimated, and then Ben shot her uh, with a shotgun. So she got uh, killed and she went straight into our um, discard pile, right? All in all, we managed to kill 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. <clears throat> 12 zombies. 12 zombies. Uh, <laughs> so that we managed to kill out of all these that spawned. And we still had uh, four zombies. Um, uh, able to be spawned on the map, right? Um, yeah, so I'm learning the game. I'm enjoying it so far. It's it's uh, it's a it's a pretty uh, straightforward game. There's you know there isn't that many complicated or uh, complex rules to the game. You just have to um, think about your strategy, how to get the best items that you spawn at the beginning of the game how to arm your uh, people, your, your, your guys, and how to protect them, how to move around, how to exploit zombies' uh, ability to move orthogonally only. They cannot, they, they cannot go like this or like that. They have to go like this, yeah, up and down. <clears throat> they cannot go across. So you have to exploit that in a way. So I keep learning that. So hopefully uh, next time I, I see you guys in the 
the night playthrough, <laughs> I will be able to showcase the actual gameplay of the game. Um, do I recommend it? Yep, I do. Especially if you liked uh, the movie, um, The Night of the Living Dead, which I think was fun, great, great to watch. Uh, lots of um, sentimental uh, memories about that. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely go and check them out. I think it's 30 bucks you have to pay for that, for the PNP version. If you're in the States, you can pay twice as much. I think it was either 60 or $70 for the printed and packaged, packaged version of it. Is it worth $70? Mm, I don't know yet. I think it's worth $30 if you have the time and uh, an ability to, to do it yourself. So what I did, I printed the um, the faces of the, the chits and then I used the cardboard. Same same for same for the map, as, I'll, as you'll see in just a moment. It's quite thick. I used the cardboard, so it looks kind of nice. It's nice, nice resolution of the of the map. So I, all in all, I think it looks reasonably okay. Um, yeah, go and check them out. I had a lot of fun. I will be playing that game again and again and again, trying to beat my score. 27 is nothing to write home about, <laughs> but it's my best score so far. Definitely had, have, had fun with it. I will have fun with it. And I'll, I'll record at least one or two playthroughs to, to show you guys what it's all about. Until then, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you got inspired to check The Night from White Dog Games. Yeah, see you shortly. Bye bye.